Hi, and welcome to Talking Tech. I am your host, Alejandro Hoyos, and today we're from PAX East. We have Alc Kindle from Ironsight. So I see that uh, you guys are from Ironsight. Tell us a little bit more about the company and what you guys do. Oh yeah, of course. So Ironsight Computers, one of the big things that um, we're about is just designing cool, unique systems that will fit in basically any gamer's aesthetic. Um, for instance, we have like the juice box right here, awesome little uh, yeah, juice box uh, themed PC. Uh, this one's our blueberry flavor. Um, we also nice. have uh, a sort of, I think almost about a dozen different flavors um, that we also have. So um, in your, yeah. so if I go to your website, so you're gonna have, I can go and choose like a different flavor. Like if, if I'm a strawberry kind of guy, then I can go and just get that. Exactly, we got melon, and then we got uh, three different flavors of boba as well too. Oh, that's yeah. pretty awesome. Uh, so tell me a little bit more on uh, the configuration of this system that you guys have here. Oh yeah, so this one right here is a 13600KF um, with a RTX uh, 3060, nice. uh, 3060 Ti, excuse me. Um, it's a solid little build. Um, but we also um, have our configurator on our website, so you can actually configure them however you'd like them. Uh, they go from the i3 all the way up to the i7, 13700KF, just because in this little chassis right here, um, we're a little bit constrained, um, just the nature of ITX. Right, right. Um, but you can, you can put a good chunk of power into these builds. Right, so you said that this was an NZXT H210, right? Yes, NZXT H210. But you did a little modification to give you more room. Exactly, so um, we are working with uh, Newegg actually, uh, supplying them some of our juice boxes. Uh, we're doing some of the uh, ones in the H210, so the little ITX guys actually in the blueberry flavor. Um, but we're also uh, adapted the design to uh, ATX style case. So um, we're working with the NZXT H7s, nice. and we adapted the designs to them, and they look great even, uh, even when blown up. And we can fit bigger stuff in there. <laughs> nice. So I heard you. I heard you said you had the the KF processor, which means that it doesn't have uh, Intel graphics. Correct. What was, what was the thought behind that? What were you guys trying to go for? That? Honestly, for the most part, basically all of our builds are made with a dedicated GPU on them. Nice. And so, just it, it made more sense um, to just kind of go with the KFs. Um, definitely, there's there's reasons to go with the Ks, even if you do have a dedicated GPU. Um, but for for most of our customers, the KFs are just kind of the way to go for us. Nice. So this is, so this is part of one of many different lines that you guys have. Yes. Yeah. So we have um, the juice box, and this is this actually used to be one of our masterwork systems. Um, we actually oh. have a couple of those on demo over here. Um, but we adapted them to our limited editions, and that's where we have our different lines. We're able to do more than just like a one-off uh, batch of them. Um, and so we have things like our Tokyo Dream, which we also have on display here. Um, the Yggdrasil as well, too. Yeah, the Yggdrasil. Yeah, and then uh, Y2K is another build that we have, all designed in-house by our amazing design team, uh, just to kind of fit a bunch of different aesthetics and just you know, be a centerpiece of your setup. That is awesome. All right, so you talk about the Tokyo Dream, so we're gonna go now next and let's see that one over there. Okay, here. yeah. All right, so a minute ago, we were talking about uh, the Tokyo Dream, and actually mm -hmm. we have it here yeah. right now. So tell us a little bit more about uh, this amazing uh, system, and also what's the difference between this one and the juice box that you guys have over there? Yeah, of course. So the Tokyo Dream actually falls into the same family as the juice box. They're both uh, part of our limited editions. So nice. they're just a group of different custom systems that we allow people to customize, kind of tailor like they would just any other system like through our, we also have our standard configurator as well too. So we allow them to do that, but in our custom design cases and such. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I love the artwork that you guys have here, and I also saw that you guys have the 13600KF, which mm -hmm. has the six P cores and eight E cores, and yeah. the K, just a reminder, is for, you can actually overclock. So, mm -hmm. I love the, what you guys have done here. Sorry, go ahead, I cut you off. Oh, no, it's all good. So yeah, no, I absolutely love the, the Tokyo Dream. I'm a big sucker for the kind of Japanese Neo-Tokyo aesthetic yeah. to it. So we have uh, the katakana on the side right there, mm -hmm. and, uh, we also have the kind of the neon cityscape in the front of the panel. I, yeah, I, I love it. these to death. And this is in the uh, fractal design, the Pop Air. Yeah. Uh, really like these cases as well. Um, definitely not as uh, limited as the as the little guy over there with the uh, juice box. So we're able to put beefier components in there. Um, we can fit up to gigantic graphics cards yeah, in I there. Yeah, I see that. That's a big difference. So that, that's good. Yeah. So that's that's one of the reasons why we had uh, gone to that. It's just because. 
it just makes it easier to really let people customize. And that's one of the big things is we want to be able to have people tailor a build to their price point and what they can have while still having it just an amazing looking nice. system. I love the whole color scheme. It all ties everything together, yep. especially the graphics. We'll take a, a closer look a little bit later on. Yep. But yeah, I love this. And so we yeah. have, oh, so I'm ahead. sorry. I was just going to say, go. we actually have this in a white variant as oh, well, we too. Oh, yeah, oh, so nice. we have two different variants of it, both in the both in the same case, just uh, white versus black. Um, but the artwork and every and the, the con on the side, going to be the same between both of them. If, if, if someone who's watching us right now wants mm -hmm. to see this in white, what will be the, the website for, for you guys to check them out? Oh yeah, you can just go to ironsidecomputers.com, uh, just check out the limited edition section of the website. It'll be there and um, you can switch between the two, check them out, and then you can go through all the components, see what you can put in there, and yeah, yeah and like get you them said, hooked up. They're fully customizable, right? So you can exactly. if you, if you, like you have something already preset, but then mm -hmm. they can go in there and change anything that they want. Like exactly. That. So yeah, we have um, a few different pre-configured tiers. Um, it's going to be like our bronze, silver, gold, oh, no. platinum, uh, and those will have, be be kind of set up, and they're, they'll be good for those different uh, budget ranges. But we allow people to um, change it up if they want to. So yeah, like I said, we want to make it as easy for people to get a build that fits them as perfect as possible. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. So yeah. The first thing that when I came in, this guy caught my eye yeah. from the top. So uh, <laughs> tell me a little bit more about this and what is this and where does it fit in the whole grand scheme of Ironside? Yeah, so this is one of the Terabots. So this uh, falls into our Masterworks line of systems. Masterworks. Yes, so the limited editions, they are custom designed and everything. Masterworks, they're custom to the extreme. This is where we allow the design team to really just flex everything that right. they want to do with a build, no constraints on it, um, and they're usually one-off builds. Whereas we'll have these in production, the, the Tokyo Dream and the Juice Box, they'll be in production for a while. When we make these, we make them, and then they're done. Um, and this is just one of a, a few of them, actually, that we've been working on with the, uh, with the Terabots. And really proud of this one. I love how they turned out. It turns out, like, tell me about the painting, because like, that was one of the things that first called, caught my attention. Like, what type of paint do you guys use here? Like, what do you, what the process that you did for it? I actually believe we did a automotive paint on this guy. So we broke down the chassis and we just, they, um, uh, Dee Dee actually, she's going to be uh, here at PAX kind of uh, showing off some of the painting and everything. So the, she's like the, the artist behind all these different beautiful art where they have in your boxes. Any of, anything that requires any like hand painting or uh, stuff like that, she usually is the one that handles all of that. Wow. Um, for all the other designs and everything, we have uh, Sergio, Josh, and Dom. They're amazing design team. They handle all, all the stuff. So you can look at these and that's it's all their handiwork. So tell me about, uh, so this is kind of the top of the line, mm -hmm. custom made. Tell me about the hardware configuration and specs that you guys have in there. Yeah, so this guy right here, uh, it's a 13900K mm -hmm. uh, for the CPU, and for this one, I believe it is a um, 4090. I have to double yep. check. Yeah, it's a 4090. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. Um, but yeah, so top of the line uh, specs on this guy, fully kit out uh, for, for memory. I believe it's a 128, if I'm not mistaken, on this one. And obviously, custom, custom cooled. Custom cooled. Yeah, okay. um, basically, we, we get all of our stuff from, uh, from EK, yep. EK Waterblocks. So, um, the res, pump, blocks, all that sort of stuff. The fluid and the liquid mm -hmm. and, the, and the custom loop, it just matches us perfectly. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, and the contrast yeah. between the white and the green, it, it ties it together. Yeah, no, I really like that. And then also like with the, the coolant as well too, we, uh, we do that all in-house as well too, so we just we get it exactly right. Nice, yeah. nice. This is, this is a beautiful system, beautiful machine. Thank you. But i really like to say thank you, Alec, for yes, having us here. I appreciate it. It's a beautiful booth. And I can't wait to see what you guys have next. Oh yeah, no, we got a lot of projects in the works, so That's definitely awesome. keep an eye out. Awesome, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys.